hello and welcome to another tutorial from Cami Page Boutique. I'm Brooke Tannehill and today I'm going to show you how I made this cute Halloween canvas decoration using HTV and the HTV Rant mini heat press. As always, all the products I use will be listed in the description below and you may even find a coupon code or two that saves you some coin. Also, come join our exclusive Facebook group where you can take advantage of upcoming freebies and giveaways that you aren't going to want to miss. So without further hesitation, let's go ahead and get started. For this project, I got these cute little canvases from the Dollar Tree and they're only like, I think $1.25, so it's really affordable. But what I'm doing is I'm coming in and marking off their size on the cardboard. So I'm gonna cut about three pieces of this cardboard just to make sure that it fits inside the kind of area where I don't know, like inside the frame of the canvas. So I marked off the outside, then I measured how big the canvas is, and then I'm just coming around and just marking it off so that way I can cut this to size. So the reason why we're doing this is when we're using our heat press, we don't wanna push in too much to where we stretch the canvas and have potentially the problem of the canvas ripping um, because we're pushing down on the frame. So I'm gonna mark this off and I'm gonna do it three separate times so that we could really build up the cardboard to the size of the height of the canvas. So I hope that makes sense. So here we're gonna come in again. Once I have the first one cut to size, I'm just gonna mark it off and cut this off like so. And I'm gonna do that one more time just so that we have the three separate pieces. Once we're done with our cardboard pieces, I'm gonna grab this piece of Chameleon HTV. It's so pretty. It's got kind of a blue to purple shift and it's from HTV Runt um, again. And then I'm just gonna use my little ink roller to make sure that it's nice and laid down. I'm gonna cut this on the HTV setting on my Cricut and make sure to mirror your design so when you apply it to the canvas, it's going to be facing the right way. And here is the mini heat press from HTV Rant. It's super easy to use and you just push the button three times to get the temperature settings and then it's ready to go. So I typically stay away from HTV just because it's usually so hard to deal with and just so hard to weed. But this stuff was awesome because usually a lot of times with the kind of specialty HTV, if you want to call it that, it's a pain, but this really weeded so easily. I don't know if you can see this, it just kind of came right up. Now this one had been cut to size because I used one sheet to cut three different um, designs for the canvases. So you're going to kind of see them here. Um, but yeah, like even the detail at the top right there that you can see, it just came off so easily. Once we got everything nice and weeded, it was time to get our canvas prepped. So I'm just gonna open it like so, and then I'm gonna grab those three pieces of cardboard and just push them in to the back of the canvas. So you can see here why we did that, how easily they just kind of slide in. And again, this is just to make everything even so we can push down with our heat press. Once we're good, we're going to place our design. Now this design is from Creative Fabrica. I will list it down in the description below. And I'm just gonna fold this in half to make sure that I get it centered right where I want it. And we're gonna be adding a bow, so I'm gonna put it kind of lower down on the canvas to make room for it. But I'm gonna push it into place, measure to make sure that it's even on both sides and it's right where I like it. And then I'm going to grab my mini heat press and just move it around the HTV. Now I just kind of hold it in place for about 10 seconds and then just move it and the nice thing is is you know the mini heat press is up to temperature because of the green lights on the front of it so it makes so easy you don't have to worry about guessing if it's up to temperature and you can just move it around until you have your design nice and secure onto your canvas once everything is attached, I did a hot peel right there and then just pulled it right up and this baby was so freaking cute. Now you can see there that I actually burnt the canvas a little bit. Um, just do not hold the heat press over the canvas without anything underneath it. Um, that was a mistake on my part. But now we are going to just add a bow which covers it up anyway. So it worked out. So I'm going to share my super unprofessional way of making bows. So I do this for these types of projects and even on my door hangers, but I actually use these small zip ties. So I fold each of the pieces into like the awareness ribbon, I guess you could call it. Um, and then I just kind of line them up and then I grab my zip tie to secure into place. And the reason why I do it this way is I found that I get the best results 
from this method versus if I were just to tie them normally because it gives me a little more control. So I'm just going to kind of get the zip tie in place like that. And then once I'm happy with the placement, I just pull it tight and it just locks everything down the way I like it. Um, so you can see here just kind of how this goes. Now, I didn't measure my ribbon out ahead of time. I'm just kind of eyeballing it on the size of the canvas. So you can see right there. Then what I do to cover the zip tie is I just cut off a little piece of ribbon and I fold it in on itself so one side and then the other side and then I just wrap it around the zip tie and glue it into place to make sure that the not so cute zip tie is hidden and yes I had pink glue in my hot glue gun um, I couldn't figure out how to get it out but I didn't think it mattered so I just cut off any excess and then kind of make sure that all of the pieces are the way I like them then we're going to add some of the finishing details so just kind of cut these little triangles to make the cute little ends do it on one side and then the other and then it is time to glue our cute little ribbon on to the canvas so I like to start with the center of the bow so just add a little bit of glue and then I like to glue down the tops of the ribbons so the bunny ears I guess you could call them but the problem is is that sometimes it's kind of hot and you need to make sure that it stays so I use a dental pick and it just pushes it down the way I need it to secures it into place and I don't have to worry about burning my fingers so it's a great little hack so once that is all glued down then we are done with this little cute crafting project I hope this quick crafting tutorial inspires you and I can't wait to see what spooky decorations you create. If you have any questions about any of the steps or information, please feel free to reach out and I'll be more than happy to help. As always, thank you for watching. It really means a lot to me. If you like this tutorial, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you can see future videos. You can also ring the bell so you're notified of all future cup making goodies. Thank you again. I love you guys. Bye.